Welcome Builders, Andy is your here and welcome back to episode 5 of Finbar's Marsh, this medieval city based on epic Dungeons and Dragons maps built, drawn by milbysmaps.com. So in this episode we're going to be carrying on with all of the main buildings in this city. I'm going to zoom in probably, hmm, let's zoom in on this area here so you guys get a better view. And let's bring up some writing tools, there we go. So we are, we've done a tavern, we've done uh, this castle here as well um we've also done number three which is the gardens and um, we've done number four which is this butcher shop i don't think i've actually shown you that butcher shop yet i'll try and do that today we've done this temple as well in the last episode uh, but right now we're going to move on to this number six which is an orphanage after number six the orphanage you're going to do a school so i guess all the, the kids are taken care of first and then right next to the school i don't know if this is best place to have a noisy blacksmith but we're having a blacksmith right next to the school number eight then we'll be doing number nine which is a barber shop yeah that's right a barber shop number 10 is a cooper's someone who makes barrels right next to them is the brewery number 11 we'll be building that today we'll be moving swiftly on to number 12 which is a hospital that's on two floors as well we're going to be building that and then we're going to switch over to this side of the city and we're going to build a granary somewhere to store not just the grain but lots of food and supplies to keep this city uh, in supplies if for example it, it was about over the winter time or it was a siege or something like that then we're going to build a theater number 14 as well we'll also have a look down at some of these buildings down here which have been built by jj one of the admins on my server as well he's even moved on to some of these buildings over here and we'll see them towards the end of the video so yes this theater is really really a cool build can't wait to show you what we've done there's a little secret door there and then this is where the costumes would be and all the actors could hang out in this area um, number 15 is a town hall and a courthouse we'll be building that today as well and i think that is oh we might even squeeze in number 16 a little bakery right there and then we'll leave number 17 and 18 for the next episode but yeah what i'm going to do is run some time lapse of each building and then show you each building in a little mini tour so let's start with number six the orphanage Here we are at the Orrible Orphanage. The top half of the orphanage is okay. It's not bad. There's a lot of other stuff around me that's already built, and I can't show you it because that would be spoiling what's coming up ahead in the video. The top bit, I think the bottom bit we messed up. I don't think this red sandstone does look very well. I think we're gonna have to change that red sandstone. But anyway, welcome to the orphanage. In here is the dining room and the kitchen. And then we're going to keep the orphans working here. So this is their workbenches. Keep them busy. You know, sometimes they have a little bit of school. A little bit of school. But mostly we just make them work. Because it's medieval times and they're orphans. Um, of course, we have a bathroom. Everything is... Wow. I, I don't normally do my toilets like that. I mean, I don't normally fall down a big hole. But normally we've, we've got toilets set up like that. And that is our toilets and every building in the city will have a, a link to the sewers but there we go that is the orphanage upstairs in the orphanage we've probably got some beds yeah bunk beds in here uh, some storage and lockers around there more shelves and then over here we're kind of a staff area as well it's pretty bland and poor as well but one creepy poster but there we go that is the orphanage And here we are at this school. By the way, there are some other tiny little buildings cropping up every every now and again. I've been building a few of them. So is JJ, Sarasvin, a few people have been building. This is a little leather works in this little spot here, right beside uh, this archway in the docks, little uh, leather works as well. There's a little building here. I didn't know this was here. This is, this is new as well. So this looks like this needs to get furnished. But that's a little building that's cropped up as well. So there's little buildings cropping up every now and again. But anyway, I'm going to show you the school. So here is our school. We've got some headless children, um, which is a bit weird. And looks like I'm 
I'm everywhere. I do every job in the city, but at least someone's given me an apple. This is very good, isn't it? Three squared plus four squared equals five squared. Who knows that equation? Uh, got a blackboard made of green terracotta and then invisible item frames with string on. Looks like squiggles uh, on the blackboard. So that's pretty cool as well. Good inspiration. This is where they hang up their coats. This is where they can go for a poop. And again, it links all the way down to the... I don't know why I'm bringing you down to every every sewer, but that links all the way along. You know, you could just break that and it takes you... I'll show you. I'm going to show you where the poop goes. All the children's poop goes into the sewer. Isn't that, isn't that great? I mean, it's smelly, but all the sewers are connected. I just feel that's a, a nice touch for the whole for the whole city. You know, we can relax. And then up here is probably where the teacher would sleep. And this is probably going to have to be some sort of wardrobe that's yet to be built. And I guess they've got a nice comfy seat here. They need a rest after a long day teaching uh, little brats as well. But there we go. That is, that is the school. As simple as that. On the outside, the school has view spruce log, spruce slabs, spruce stairs, windows, and the roof is made of um, granite and brick slabs. So there you go. That is our school building. School. Hell. <laughs> I didn't know someone done that. That's funny. There we go. The school. And right next to the school is the blacksmith. So this is our blacksmith here. What do you think? It's quite a big, imposing building. Got these little anvils here to kind of designate that this is a blacksmith. Little uh, cart here, which I love, made of spruce fence gates, gates uh, composters and grindstones. Got a workbench here made of extended um, pistons. A little door here uh, through. And then this is the forge here with the chimney going up. So I've made this with a combination of got a campfire back there to give us a smoke and then just nether rack right there to give us the fire. And this looks like the uh, the hot coals to uh, to heat up your steel or your iron that you're making. So there we go, a little storage room here with coal and some barrels. And then there's a little entrance here if you want to come and order from something from the blacksmith, a little desk there. Uh, again, a toilet, again, connected to the sewer system. All the poops are taken care of in the city. And then upstairs, this is where the blacksmith and their family would live. A little bit of a kitchen here. <laughs> kind of a modern detail there. Uh, but this is the bedroom. One, one bed for everyone. <laughs> and a wardrobe right there as well. And this is where the... Uh, must be warm in here. You know, the, the, the chimney comes here through from the furnace uh, as well. But there we go. That is our blacksmith. What do you think? Hopefully that gives you some inspiration for building your own cities in Minecraft. You can see how the buildings just kind of slot together there as well. Nice blacksmith. And then over here, we're going to have the the uh, the Coopers, the Coopers, or the actually we're going to have the barbers. So this is the barber shop right here, barber shop. There we go. That is it from the outside. And then we can go in. We're going to have a look in the barber shop. This is where uh, I'm a barber as well. I'm always wearing this red jacket as well. I'm just doing every job in the city. We've got this um, ban white banner representing a mirror. As well, little waiting area, and then upstairs. Um, yet it's a bit Spartan up here. Some other places we do need to put extra furnishing in. So if anyone watching this is one of the builders, one of the Patreon builders, wants to furnish the upstairs of the barbers, please go ahead as well. Um, some of the other buildings that are being that are not numbered buildings. This is a potion shop here. This is Zach's potion shop. Zach is one of the people who watch on Twitch and he's been watching an awful lot so thank you to Zach. Big shout out to him and he's got uh, a toilet right there and then loads of potions that are being made, crafted, constructed, brewed up as well. So here is the upstairs. We're still to finish this. Fancy bed, some storage in here and we've got to finish off and put a roof on the potion shop but there we go. That is the barber's shop right there. 
Next, to the, next door to the Barbers is the Coopers. This is the Coopers. You can order your barrels here. Very simple building made of uh, calcite and diorite and polished diorite as well. But inside, you can imagine the, the hammering and the banging and, and uh, the chiseling and the heating up maybe of iron bands and so on to put uh, the finishing touches to all your barrels. And there is a kind of an exhibition of big barrels downstairs. Maybe you could uh, show your prospective customers for your barrels like that. But there we go. That is the barrels all completely made in here and now this links through to the brewery which i'll show you at this point as well here is the brewery and i'm the brewer as well i have every job in the city i have so this is the big um distilleries here i guess to brew your your whiskey or your beer whatever it is and we've got some barrels over here and um, this is your raw ingredients as well so just just fantastic and nice big double doors to let everything in as well so there we go that is we've got the uh, the coopers makes sense to have it right next to the brewery doesn't it they're going to be needing lots of these barrels And this is the hospital. So next door to the brewery, we have the hospital. This is in this area of the town over here. You can see the castles are gonna be over there. Some nice big warehouses to come in here. And this is the docks as well. But look at that, this is our hospital. We don't really have any signs on the outside to say it's a hospital. So maybe we do need some sort of big sign. Hmm. I'm not gonna do that right now, but yeah, we could do with a big sign. Bit of a challenging build. You can see the diagonals were quite difficult. I think we've managed it with our windows are not too bad with these diagonal windows. You could either use glass or you can use glass panes. Works quite well. Bring you around the back here again, more diagonal windows. This is another building kind of backing onto the hospital that needs to get built kind of separately. If you're one of the Patreon builders, you can come on and you can just uh, go ahead and construct uh, one of these non-numbered buildings. So the door to the hospital is over here. I'm a statue as well. I just have to do everything. I'm a patient. And uh, I'm over here attending to a lamp. Why Why do I have every job? This is the hospital. This is where they do the, the operations. <laughs> uh, and then through here, what do we have? Kind of like waiting rooms. Um, uh, there should be a bathroom in here. There's a bathroom in there connected to the sewers. A doctor's office back here and then upstairs in the hospital we have do you know what i might just do is just do that little kite staircase um yeah we didn't really finish properly in here in terms of putting a ceiling we really should put a maybe i could do that right now should i put a ceiling let's use slash slash fill 550 there we go a ceiling has been placed there we go, a ceiling is in place. And then through here, I think there's more hospital beds just for the sick people. You'd be very lucky to survive in medieval times, especially if you got operated on um, pretty gruesome hospitals and medicine in medieval times. A little shrine here to pray for your loved ones, I guess, that they're gonna pull through and get fixed. But there we go, that is our hospital. What do you think? And the theatre. The opposite the orphanage is our theatre, and it's named after Zach, Zach's Theatre Royal. Again, Zach, one of the, the long-term viewers of the channel, and uh, he's very good at theatre. So we made a theatre, and we named it after Zach as well. Got a pretty fancy roof as well, pretty fancy. It's hard to show you the whole theatre. Got a few windows with blackout curtains, black um, bl uh, sort of blinds there, banners. But there we go, let's take you inside the theatre. So we've got the main stage at the... F Am I doing... I'm, I'm, I'm an actor as well in this town. I have to do everything. So here's the cheap seats down here. And here are the expensive seats. 
up here with some free cake as well, cake and candles. And then we've got like a, a lighting gantry here. I made that. And then through here, we've got an amazing backstage area with all the props and the costumes and the ch even changing and makeup areas, I guess, as well, which is pretty cool. And then there's a secret button up there, and that gives you a secret door to the back of the theater. Now, JJ has done an amazing job not only helping with the theater, but he has helped with this, which is the stage props area, a place for people to get ready to put on their play and they can run through the secret door. There's a secret button to open it up. And uh, this is where they live as well. The, the, the acting community live up here. This is where they can, they can sleep and rest and recuperate and practice their plays. But there's a whole section of houses here that have been made. This is a, a shop here which sells um, costumes, costume shop as well. Kind of makes sense to have that next to the, um, the theater. And then up here we have JJ's residence. This is where JJ lives. It's very fancy. I guess he's in charge of the shop below. He has his own private bathroom and a living area and probably a bedroom Wow, he's made a bedroom up here. So another story up here. This is this is impressive, JJ. We love we love your house indeed. We love this whole block that JJ has been making here in the corner. It is pretty pretty special. Cause look, we've even got a book shop in here that's been built as well. <laughs> Isn't this awesome? It's a massive bookshop. It goes all the way up there as well. But the owner of the bookshop actually sneakily lives through this door, and then you're into this property, and this is where you know, the bookshop person would actually have their residence through here in this little shop here. And then this whole street has been done as well. I think this is a tavern on the corner. So they've got the theater there, the orphanage there. This is, it's not marked as a tavern on the map. It's not really marked as anything on the map, but JJ's turned it into a kind of an eating and drinking establishment as well there's so much to see in this city now I, I don't think i can really see absolutely every build but look at all this look at this street look at the detail this is all jj street how at least it's not me having to look out the window it's corrales there this house is um is simply on fire <laughs> and then we've got more buildings and properties here some of them need to be furnished on the inside but look at this this whole block now is virtually there is the man, the myth, the legend himself. We can say hi to JJ. He is the admin on the server as well. Hello, hello. He's been he's built this whole area that wraps around Helm's, the Helm, um, what do you call it, the Temple of Helm. <laughs> so we've nearly completed the entire block, which is which is really really cool, indeed. All right, now it's time for the townhouse and uh, town hall and courthouse. Just before I show you around, big shout out again to all the builders, Kingly Mendley, Beast Bomber, Local Farmer, Luminous Ravine, I don't know if that's how you say it, Dragon Master, JJ, Doobies, Uki, Dreadspine, Sarasvin, VFDH, Moneybags and Handbus. Uh, guys, thank you so, so much for building. That is so kind of you. And big shout out to everyone watching on Twitch. I do build this live on Twitch, 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. UK time nearly every day. Um, Big shout out to Sick Brew. We've got Magic Kitty Pixie, 600 bits, that should say. Jules, five gifted. Uh, Captain Dreadspine, 10 gifted subs. And Filthy Coin, 10 gifted subs. Check out Filthy, Filthy Coin, please. He's building a, a city as well. Twitch.tv slash filthy underscore coin. He's building it in Conquest uh conquest texture pack uh, and, and an epic epic city do follow him on twitch so thank you to all the other episodes of support on twitch as well you guys are absolutely brilliant i can't believe you guys gifted so many subs as well and thank you for the bits as well thank you thank you thank you big shout out and thank you to jj and congrats for a promotion he is now an admin on the server and here is the town hall and courthouse what do you think do you like the blue 
up there. Hopefully you do. Hopefully you like the little balcony we've got at the front. We tried to make this as grand and as rich as possible. So we've got a mixture of stone brick and dead brainy coral for the base and then the mixture of bone block and white concrete powder for the top as well a nice big fancy sticking out roof as well guys what do you think of the roofs Are the roofs too much of a a mixture should we go for all the same color of roof maybe we want to go for some copper roofs some some waxed coppery color anyway let's take you into the town hall got a reception in here the main courthouse back here i guess where all the decisions are made you can even have the town hall meetings in here the judges train chambers as well for once i don't have to be the judge that's one job i don't do we've got the kind of a guards room here a little prison in here for people on remand waiting for trial oh no i'm stuck i'm stuck I'm gonna have to just make a squint door i'm sorry i'm sorry we also have a bathroom in here again connected all the way into the sewers as well and then upstairs in the town hall and the courthouse we've got just administration offices and a link out to this beautiful balcony don't look at that that's the bakery i'm going to show you that next <laughs> and then through here is just more offices more admin and offices like that okay let's run the time lapse for the bakery And here we are in the town square. So it's going to be a, a um, it's going to be a statue there. It's going to be a fountain there. Um, oh, this is the Dabara residence, which is being built kind of off camera. We were going to do this on camera, but Kingly Mendeley is building this, um, which is a big three-story, absolutely epic uh, private residence. So it looks absolutely magnificent indeed. And then. Um, what else have we got? We've got to, yeah, this is the bakery. This is what you've just seen being built. So this was named after somebody again watching in chat. Uh, Jake 3D and family, the Warm Heart Bakery. There we go. What I did add to this bakery was, you know, I like my places to pee. Added a little toilet at the back. Kind of a hygienic, you know, because you can come through here into the bakery, choose your cake, and hopefully they've washed their hands. I thought it was medieval times. Can you imagine how gross that is? But there we go. We're kneading the dough, we're baking our loaves. Uh, that one's been in a little bit too long. But there you go, you've got a little, little, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed by toilets, aren't I? And then the baking family, the bakers, haha, <laughs> could live up here and they've got a little kitchen, shelves, a table, and beds for all the family. All one big uh, bedroom there, what do you think of that? That's medieval times, of course. Is this a till? <laughs> That's funny, I don't think they had tills. But there we go. I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you today. Uh, is that all we've built? Yeah, I mean, that's loads, right? It's absolutely loads. I think one or two of the things I haven't shown you are the butcher's shop. That's new and that's new. I didn't even know they existed. So people are building off camera as well. But here we go. Welcome to the butcher's shop. The only thing we haven't shown you so far is this butcher's shop. And then through and up here, we have kind of corridors to little bedrooms and up here probably need something up here like tables and chairs i think a little kind of a living room up here would be nice but there we go uh, we have a, a butcher's talking of having a butcher's what is through here hmm, what does this person make i don't know and then through here that's my that's my leather shop i think i made that so this little one in here has been made as well just a generic maybe just someone's house so we've got these little ones to build back here. I've got those two to do. Looks like JJ is going to be building these as well. He's got some plans. He's writing a sign. Claimed. Reserved by JJ. <laughs> reserved by JJ. That he's done the whole block here, which is pretty impressive. Apart from the orphanage. That's really cool. Did I do one here? I think I did this one. My s no. Sarah Sven did this house here as well, which does, and there's a narrow one here. What do you think we should use a narrow one for? I'm not sure actually at all. Whew, loads to do. We're loving this city. Tell me what you think of the roofs. Should we make all the roofs the same so the whole city had kind of a theme to it? Oh, I didn't show you the granary. Oh my goodness. Run the time lapse for the granary.
here we go what do you think of our granary down the side of the granary we've got these kind of indentations and then up the sides here we've got kind of trap doors use smokers like that to kind of join the uh, stone to the wood i like that kind of detail and then we've got a little crane at the side here to able to lift lift things up and in so the granary is your big food store i'm going to shut the door because we put a number of cats in here to keep the mice at bay but look at this we've got hay we've got kelp we've got big barrels the raw iron looks like big barrels of potatoes in my opinion right? it looks like potatoes sand is representing that was a cat did you see it we've got the cats cats trapped in here to keep the mice down the sand is representing grain there's grain piled up into the corner uh maybe this is corn we've got melons and pumpkins of course hello be like that and then up here again just massive amounts of storage the cats are keeping the place tidy that is definitely everything i want to show you in this episode what do you think in the next episode we're going to be building things like the tinker shop and um we've got more bakers number 20 the cobbler a tailor apothecary warehouses loads and loads and loads of stuff to build even the stables and the barracks and then hopefully eventually we'll get onto the castles the king's castle and the queen's castle that's been episode five of finbar's marsh big shout out to milbysmaps.com as well check out the links below uh, a fantastic artist as well take care for now ciao ciao with the blocks be with you